Hi, I'm Olivia and we're here at the Royal Academy of Arts for the Renzo Piano Art of Making Buildings exhibition. This exhibition celebrates his work over the last 30 years. Let's take a closer look. I've had the pleasure of curating this exhibition, working really closely alongside Renzo Piano and his team um, in Genoa and Paris. And it's been an amazing dialogue over a process of about two years. Um, he's been intensely involved in, given so much time, energy, thought, and I hope that kind of his spirit and presence is entirely in this show. So we've got 16 of his projects that date back from what he calls his prehistory. So some really early projects um, before the Pompidou Centre when he came to London. Um, the Pompidou, um, older ones from the sort of 70s, 80s, right up until two projects which are currently on site. And they range from all across the world. So um, our reaches, we've got different typologies. So there's some art galleries, cultural centres, an airport, a hospital, um, it's a real mix of projects. And at the heart of the exhibition there is what he calls the island and it brings together 102 projects um, that he and his practice have created and have actually have been built um, all at one to a thousand scale. So they're a wonderful kind of way of looking and comparing how the buildings look, they're different sizes, um, and it's a and then surrounding that is um, 16 photographs by um, a beautiful Italian photographer who's been following Renzo's work since the 70s and also some really nice personal moments in there of catching his life and um, completed by a film which we have commissioned which takes visitors to his lovely studio in Genoa to Paris and to a couple of building sites and you hear from the man himself. I think what's wonderful about his work is there's not you don't see a building and think oh that's because he that's a Renzo piano building. There's something in its spirit that you understand, but it's not always its form isn't always the same. And I find they're surprising. You know, if people know something like the Shard, they come in and they see the new Mia uh, building, which is made out of these timber, tall timber cases, which kind of dot around a landscape. And for me, it's a sort of surprise. And the other thing is that he is always about kind of thinking about architecture, of defying gravity. It's about lightness. It's about celebrating the beauty of construction. So when you come into the show, to your eyes drawn up to these amazing models that surround us. And they kind of really evoke the essence of what he's about. It's about making buildings for people. This exhibition runs from the 15th of September to the 20th of January next year. So do come down if you want to take a look and learn more about his amazing work.